Chop and Brew is brought to you with support from Imperial Yeast, whose widely popular Loki strain is now available year-round. More information at imperialyeast.com. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Chop and Brew. Chip Walton in the house of Don O with one and only Don O. And the second and second Dawson. And the third and third. Thanks, Ig. That's right. Yeah. That's I'm, nice. I'm usually Thanks. right there on there. Like, hey, hey. <laughs> Now we've gotten them trained to call yeah. themselves Snack Stick. All right, we are drinking <laughs> an epic flight of Crowlers from oh, our yeah. boy Kisiani, his homeboy Woo! Alex, and their homegirl Stacy, the brewers, mm -hmm. owner operators of Headless Mumby in Olympia, Washington. You may remember Kisiani from a past episode of Chop and Brew in which he had a baby attached to his chest. Miss Nola. He was also kind of like at the uh, Pacific Northwest Homebrewers Conference episode wearing some tie-dye with his homebrew club. Since that episode, he has opened a brewery. He sent us yeah, six cans. Boy. Interestingly enough, Cheers. they are all what they call Pacific Northwest loggers. So logger only brewery, leaf hop only brewery, which is also kind of interesting. And they're just like, yeah, they're running. They're less than a year old. They're doing good things. They're doing some firkins. First up, is a German Pills, of which Keith had won some... Is it recording? Okay, it is recording. <laughs> he, had, he had won some... It's over Mike's head, so I couldn't figure it out. Oh, right. Keith, Keith won uh, an AHA NHC award uh, for this, the homebrew version of this Pills. We're talking pretty much all Pills, little acidulated malt, rice hulls, as you're going to hear repeatedly in these recipes. Leaf Magnum, first word. Wait, hop. are you supposed to say? Oh, yeah, he said, I'm not giving like exact uh, details. Okay, all right. But first word hop with some Magnum, then Hallertau, uh, Liberty, Hallertau, Liberty. It says Liberty in parentheses, so Liberty is a. It's a daughter of Hallertau Middle Fru, mm -hmm. grown in the US. Mm. So what do we think? It's bare, it's delicious. <laughs> she crisp, AF, and uh, nice and better, yeah. clean. Yummy. So what do you expect from a Pilsner calling itself German, right? Versus yeah. Bohemian, Czech, mm -hmm. something else, Italian. Yeah, true. Touche. Mm -hmm. shots, right, shots fired. I get, <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> what do you think, lager nerds? Lager nerds, this German, is the room. The German, the German pills I would expect it to be uh, firmly bittered, aggressively bittered, and uh, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. It's uh, very dry, as I would expect too. And uh, the more you drink of it, the bitterness fades away, and then you get the really great Pilsner malt flavor. No. Yeah. Very well done. Very it's well done. Got like a slight bit of like saltiness to it within that balance, that saltine cracker. Mm -hmm. Definitely adding whiff, to the dryness. Whiff of sulfur. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. a bit. Yeah. All Vireman. I like he asterisks that throughout every recipe. I was like, oh. She get a sponsorship or something. Yeah, I just want to say, like, beer aside, like, Keith Ciani, besides being a lager nerd, also a fly angler, making him a perfect aspirational figure. And he likes insanely good music. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should all marry Keith Ciani. I'd live in Olympia for Keith Ciani. Yeah. <laughs> WOC or WOK, Wives of Keith. <laughs> all right, man, we're one beer in. <laughs> Yeah, but to be fair, this is the third video we've shot yeah. in like <laughs> ten minutes. Five, yeah. twenty minutes. Okay. All right. All right, we'll be back with the second beer, right? So here we are with the second beer. Don's off wrangling kids. Um, this is the Northwest Amber Lager, yeah. which is not per se a style, but Keith, Alex, and Stacy are trying their damnedest to make it one. Say what you just said, because it was awesome. So this reminds me of like a 1990s Portland or Pacific Northwest Amber Ale where you've got a pretty beefy malt body, lots of caramel flavor, uh, a little bit of like roasted or biscuit expression, lots of bittering hops, it's very clean, but intense. It is intense. It finishes really bitter, really hoppy. Mm -hmm. uh, Kind of like maybe the Shika all with American ingredients, right? American hops. I could see that. 
because the shtiki itself means like you don't know what you're going to get. It's going to most likely be oomphed up. So yeah. Mucho oomph. Pills, Vienna, Munich, Kara, Amber, Melanoid, and Chocolate Rye in various mysterious percentages. Uh, Magnum, Halital, Cascade, Centeno, Shida, Columbus. This, uh, this idea of Germanic, but a lot of American, this Northwesternization of these loggers, right? Totally. What do you think, Paul? What do you think, Snacks Nick? I like it. I think it tastes like an amber ale. It's clean. It yes, it lingers a bitterness on the end. But there's a lot of uh, mole flavor throughout and hot flavor. Um, but if you were to brew this beer with lager yeast and ale yeast, I don't know if I could tell you which one is which. I mean, like Dawson was saying, a clean Chico strain would probably put out something very, very similar. This beer is well made and clean. Um, I think it's, it is, I don't know what you guys have said. I think it is kind of bitter. It's a tense towards the, the bitter side. Maybe a person would want a little more sweetness. I don't know. Uh, it's up to everyone has their taste. You know, like I think it's a well-made beer, and so like that's totally fine. Like I make beers that I'm like, well, I don't know if I. <laughs> Just keep so, going, man. This is I don't know life. if it's my favorite beer when I make a beer, but it's clean and well-made, and that's totally fine. And I, that's kind of how I'm coming in on this one right now. Third beer, IPL. Oh my gosh, India Pale Lager, a favorite of Don O's, his favorite. <laughs> Of everybody else's through Dono. Yeah. Cheers. So this is 6.5%. Pills, Munich, acidulated. Hops, Magnum, Simcoe, Mosaic, Citra. We're getting into like truly American kind of after these first couple that were kind of hitting there. The nose is pineapple, pine cone. Tons of unique flavors, right? Or unique mm -hmm. passion fruit, blueberry. Yeah. Did you say citrus? Not yet. Citrus. <laughs> the flavor, I gotta be honest, it doesn't follow 100% through with the nose. And I think that's because of the mouthfeel. It's dry. Um, again, like this, which is just maybe this Northwest vibe. It's just a little dry, um, but you can feel it. It's got, the eye is in there. The India. <laughs> the pale is in there too. It's, yep. got, it's full of P. Yep, full P. It's gotta be L. Because that's what they be, do. They do NWLs up in there. <laughs> it ticks all the boxes on IPL, right? Like it's super hoppy, super fragrant, super juicy, bitter, aggressive. It's got the soul of a Pilsner though, because it's like crisp and light and vanishingly dry. And then you're just left with all these hop waxes on your tongue. It's, it's a super intense beer, right? Yeah. And we were kind of off camera comparing it to Don's iterations, which are like... 10 points higher in OG, a yeah. little bit more caramel, yeah. um, and a little bit more cushion Residually for that, sweet. that hot bitterness, right? Like this mm -hmm. is... Or even alcohol sweet, because it's also yeah. stronger to yeah. a degree. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is like super aggressive, super dry, essay and hops. Thesis state. Essay and hops. An essay and hops. What say you, IPL? I guess Poppy if I'm Don just Juan. gonna be honest, I would like it to have a little more sweetness somewhere, yeah. either from a malt uh, addition, swap out of the malt, maybe higher gravity, final gravity, maybe I don't know if whatever the yeast is is a factor here. Yeah. I would like a little bit more sweetness. Now that's just how I make the Indie Pale Lager. Yeah. I like it um, hoppy and bitter. And it can be strong, I'm fine with that, but uh, a tiny bit more sweetness to go with it. It's pretty tipped to the dry scale, it's dry side on the scale. So if we're going to be honest, and I've had Don's IPL for, I don't know, three, four years now. His is always very rich flavor of hops throughout. This one doesn't quite follow that. Um, the nose is, is down a little bit versus his, but I, yeah, I agree. I think it's probably because of the gravity of it, probably because of a little bit of the caramel, you know, a little bit of sweetness. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good beer. It's not flawed in any way. It just, uh, probably, Don probably ruined me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to, 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 to compare it to You had this. it first, I guess. I had it first. Boom, smoked rye lager in, in the glass. Beer. 
Absolutely Cheers. beautiful. Hey, oompa. Oompa. So certain percentages of Munich rye smoked, which we assume is beechwood, pills, care Munich, care aroma, chocolate rye, and only first wort hot pearl. This is the beer, not that I've been waiting for in the flight, but this is like, this brings us back to like a multi awesome lager. Am I correct? Yeah. You're not wrong. You get the rye, you get the additional. So like one of these beers I kind of was, a, the Northwest Amber was maybe a, a slightly muddled grain bill, drinking it as also very hoppy and very dry, but the, the mixture of all of these grains comes together nicely. This the is, rye, the smoke, the pills, it smells I'm sorry, like as soon as the we, Munich. As soon yeah. as we cracked it, it was like rye bread. Oh, there's the pills. Mm -hmm. There's the awesome. pills too. Cara Munich, Cara Aroma, chocolate rye. Yeah. I believe Paul said well done. The, the money quote, this is a smoked beer he can get behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not big on smoked beers. Um, <laughs> they want me to recreate. Here's smoked beers, here's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> For if me, you, this is great. Don's you, beers I've had, they're smoked. You've liked them. They're more intense than this. Check, check the <laughs> I did like footage. them, but they were more intense. Um, but I like them as well. If we didn't know this was a smoked beer, would you pick up on them? Yes. That's kind of what I, I can, probably would. I can pick up on them. But it's not like burnt. Okay. It's not like, uh, yeah, like campfire burnt. It's right. really like toasted, deep toasted bread burned. Mm -hmm. Starting to get into like a little bit of seared meat kind of burn, but I not think I'm getting more ashy like the, or anything. It's awesome. The sweetness, the caraway rye spiciness, um, that's kind of what I'm getting more of. Maybe with a little bit of the hot bitterness, the smoke for me, of course, we just heard that I like smoky beers, yes. is it's pretty, it's pretty slight. Not a knock against it, just how I'm taking it. You would drink a liter. <laughs> On untapped. Four words. <laughs> Five star would drink a liter. Four words. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Really good. Balanced. Malty. Yeah. It's reminiscent Dry. of a recipe we know, right? We don't have this recipe, or we can't give it out. But this isn't too far from a recipe we can promote. Old Toberfest? Old Toberfest. From one Michael Dawson. We'll link it below. Just tell us a little bit about the idea of this smoked marts and smoked Oktoberfest style Multiple grains, rye, barley, smoke element, little bit of hops, yeah. clean lager yeast. Yeah. Wheelhouse. We'll put it below. I mean, this is like begs to be a fall time beer. Considering that it was like nice today and snowing tomorrow, I yeah. think we might be at the right moment. It might actually be. Sitting around a fire. If we were outside right now, we might be like, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> winter's coming again for the third time. Fourth time. All right, Kisiani, uh, Alex, nice. Stacy, if this is your flagship beer, Good job. you planted your flag in stable ground. Yeah. That's what I said. Okay. That's what I well said. Done, sir. Stable ground. <laughs> okay, that's a gospel hymn. I don't know. <laughs> Plant your flag in stable ground of malt. Is it? Check it out! Dark check lager. Is that what we got here? I believe it is. That's how Don announces that we're rolling. I'm a football right. announcer, actually. We're getting so close, y'all. We're getting so close. We're right. so close. We've continued down the dark road of maltiness. 6.6 percent done. 5.6. <laughs> Pills, Munich, Kara Munich. D. Hus Carafa 3. First word Magnum. Sots at some other point in the in the thing. And mm -hmm. this is further into like deep enjoyability of a dark malty beer. Yes. yes. This one is hitting more of my sweet spots than a couple of the oh, ones right. that I commented. <laughs> it's like right here. It's like, um, it's like, it's like <laughs> tickling <laughs> Don's beer spot. Um, Yes, like very balanced. Mm. Uh, you could say, mm. I like hoppier beers, and I would say, you know what, take a break from the hops. Enjoy <laughs> the malt. Enjoy the dark Czech lager Come to flavor. the side. You could say that. Yeah, I mean, this thing is smooth. Yeah. It's sweet. There's a, 
I feel like uh, even though the Dehust Carafa 3 is not supposed to contribute like a lot of flavor, I feel like it usually does contribute a little bit of flavor. Meow. What's up, cat? There's a cat. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this one. I really like this. Would drink a liter. Yeah. They ain't messing around with the German malts and the lager concept. You get pumpernickel. Yeah. You get cocoa. Yeah. You get a little bit of spice from the hops. All harmonious. Super, super drinkable. Yeah, it is. I, w I would drink a liter, so it's <laughs> awesome. I had chocolate, I had a little roast, the malt all the way through. Yeah. Not a linger bitterness. Yeah. Just where they're all balanced. I was drinking this when Keith was pouring it at HomebrewCon in 2018. Whoa. So, you know. Oh, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> did it give you any inside details? No, but I did get that sticker. Wow. Well, that's my tattoo. Yeah. Sorry, sweet, ink, <laughs> sweet, ink, bro. The next tattoo. And we're back. <laughs> we're back, <laughs> we're back like with the last back. beer of six CBL Cascadian yeah. Brown Lager. Yeah. Right. We've been debating it <laughs> intensely because we think there's a couple of different ways this could be considered. Oh. Either way, it's good. It's good. We awesome. all like it. Yummy. There's consensus. The yeah. best comparison yeah. you had, or the best that? hybridization. I had like a super granular, insufferable nerd question, which was, is this a Dunkel with American hops? Or is this an American brown ale with lager yeast? Insufferable. As a corollary, does it even matter? Yeah. Probably not. Pills. Munich, Care Munich, Melanoidin, Carafa 3, Chocolate Rye, Rye Souls, oh. First Word Hop with Magnum, you may not it be, uh, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, Columbus. I guess the <laughs> bike drop, I guess. Like it's belly smack, I guess. I just feel like I, this- I like this beer. I feel like this might dial in, all six beers kind of dial in, but this might be like the Northwest Lager concept. You're literally taking this crisp, clean, clear, dark lager. It's you're, recognizable as a dark lager. Right, you're doing all these kind of CDA type things to it, which is a very regional thing to where Olympia is. And this might be the hybrid there. This is the droid they're looking for. Oh God. Beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you're saying it's like a black IPA, AKA Cascadian dark ale, but not as dark, more yeah. brown. Yeah. With a lager yeast, but a similar hot bill. This right. conversation is why we can only Jesus. hang out with each other, guys. This, right. It really does. This is why we, it's, it's drinkable, and you can drink three of them before you know you even had this conversation, but it is. It's or a sex. Cascadian Dark Black IPA, what Dogfish called the India Brown Ale, but mixed with the lager. Hot nine o'clock. It's just that. like, I don't know. This is really good. It's kind yeah. of like. The, it's the like fall. a dark check, kind yeah. of. Yeah. yeah, it's similar. It's like this guy and one of these two got... <laughs> Don't start one of these two got together. The no, come on. Right. Too right. soon. Right. Okay. Yeah. Click, 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 <laughs> click, 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 click. Heal. Keith, thank you very much. Thank you for the great A pleasure. Mm. Very enjoyable. Yeah, Headless Mumby. Yeah. Check him out either in person in Olympia. Follow them on social, they're always doing fun stuff. If you're a loggerhead, just hit them up. Keith, Alex, Stacy are open to talking about whatever kind of stuff you want to do. They're home brewers at heart. They're barely pro brewers. <laughs> Meaning they've only been doing it for less than a year. So they, they can wrap their head around some home brewers. This is pretty professionally done. It is, it is wonderfully professional done. If you go there, uh, like tell them Chop and Brew sent you. Tag us and some stuff. I don't know. Eat some Doritos. Don't, eat some don't, don't, don't admit you <laughs> know <laughs> us if you go there. <laughs> Buy a shirt. Get some stickers. Buy some beer. Yes. Chop for chop. Brew for brew. Woo -hoo! Oh my god. So proud. Hit out. <laughs> Keith, I think you're a pro brewer. Don't listen to him. I think you're a pro brewer too, Keith. Jesus. <laughs>
Oh, this is Beep, boop, boop, boop. Alright. Are you gonna intro it right. now or later or never or? I'll do it now because this shit ain't. This ain't gonna be a four week process. Don's off kid wrangling. Ah, uh, parenthood. Yes. Um, it's like it's a nice beer. I like it. I may brew it. We'll see. What about you? Oh, I was gonna ask oh, you. Guys. Quiet now. That's not what that look meant. Huh? I mean, Dawson, as always, like gave it all the adjectives off camera when you weren't rolling. I know. Now I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> I don't. Now he's gonna be like, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was fine. You ready? Like, it was fine. Like it. Not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> not, pretty good. Not too bad. We're making bloopers, is what we're doing here. <laughs> we're not even halfway done. Uh, I'm gonna try to recreate what I said before you yeah. Yeah. started rolling. So I expected to blow up the dons and it didn't. Oh, <laughs> Bing. We're doing it. Paul's our barometer. Paul's the guy sleeping in the street. I gotta work tomorrow. Basement. I know. Me. We're just a little bit, Fowler. We're working now. Is <laughs> that a Langer and Bennerness? Hey, five years in. <laughs> Cascadian brown lager to close it down. Yes. Do the brown to close it down. Oh, oh no. my ticket to brow cut, <laughs> cut that out right before that part. Yeah. It's yeah so it's professional. So wow. <laughs> Not a chip video without a poop joke. <laughs> you say, say more than you need so you can cut it out if you want to. <laughs> but it'll probably end up in the bloopers <laughs> regardless. <laughs> yeah, why, why, what, what gets cut out? Like. <laughs> That didn't come out right. I just think they haven't been pro brewing. Barely. They're, they haven't been pro brewing. Barely pro brewing. I just meant they haven't been pro brewing long enough to like ignore your question. All right, everybody get back into place. I'll rephrase that. I'm still listening to you, Chip. Two hours. They are pro brewers. They're so pro. They've got licenses. They've got equipment. They could be closed down if the toilets aren't clean. They're, those toilets are clean now. It doesn't happen in my house. I've had that on good authority. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm messing with a camera because Chip's in the bathroom. Yeah. This is uh, I hope you're not recording. <laughs> yeah, I am. When I'm like talking smack. Well, they can't be used. I just started. There was no oh. smack recorded. Oh, okay. Anyway.